Puffer Smirti, uh, the head of product here. Uh, we're at AVM uh, and IGS uh, stand here at Cybersecurity Asia. Welcome to us uh, here in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for joining us on My Security TV. Head of product, uh, and uh, we had Kenny on a on a uh, panel session uh, earlier today too, talking about cloud infrastructure, which is pretty much what your company is focused on. You're on the spot, right on the spot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, introduce us to uh, IGS and uh, what's sort of the approach that you have, because there's a couple of companies here. AVM Cloud is also a time company. Yes, correct. So to put it in, to put it short and sweet, uh, basically AVM Cloud is a um, our parent company is Time. Time.com. Yep. Uh, and essentially, our sister company is IGS. Got it. So, AVM Cloud is the cloud pillar uh, for Time.com, whereas uh, for IGS, we are on the system integrating portion for uh, Time.com as well. Well, one of the trends that uh, Kenny kind of outlined earlier this morning was the move to uh, private cloud yep. uh, and if not hybrid. Correct. But, yeah, what's the general trends that you're seeing and uh, sort of the, the product offering or benef benefits that you can provide to customers? Well, <coughs> I think to, to highlight what, what Kenny said earlier, basically uh, why we, we, we are trying to push customers back on premises is basically uh, based on our research and understanding of how public cloud offerings are uh, being made publicly. Uh, there's always hidden costs. There's always costs such as egress or maybe your API, API costs. Any hidden costs that customers might not necessarily be aware about. But however, if they move back to a private cloud or what we call enterprise private cloud, they are able to maintain and also protect themselves from any hidden charges. Therefore, cost transparency is a key factor to them, which will in turn uh, be, make a better return on investment for their for their cloud. Well, we heard the, the term, the, tr uh, the three C's, right? So yes. it's cost, compliance and complexity is my understanding? Um, Unless I, I got one of the C's uh, wrong. I, I believe uh, to be quite uh, quite close, but I think to be more exact is uh, what he was emphasizing on is connectivity. That's it, of course. Cyber security yes. and uh, cloud. Absolutely. Yes, which just rings back to time with the connectivity, um, AVM with the cloud, IGS yeah. with the cyber security portion. Very good. I was testing you really there. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, now, one of the things we wanted to cover off, are you cover here just in Malaysia or you're across Southeast Asia? Well, essentially, we position ourselves as a local sovereign cloud provider. So, to answer your question, yes, we mainly cover, cover Malaysia. However, we have uh, had some international, international based projects before. Yep. And we also have another availability zone uh, in Thailand. Nice. Yep. Well, most importantly, how have you found Cybersecurity Asia this year? Well. It was a great event. A lot of um, various ever-evolving cybersecurity needs from the customers. So I think myself coming from a product line, basically we would like to R&D and research more into what actually the customers' uh, needs are for 2025 and onwards. Well, that's an interesting point, actually. Your head of product, uh, you must talk to your customers about what some of their pain points are. Yep, yep. And generally, what, what are those pain points? Well, <coughs> essentially, one, one of the key points and one, one of the, actually, linking back to one of the products we have on offer here today is basically making vulnerability assessment a readily and easily accessible tool or product to customers, which is what we are portraying here with our AVM Cloud Fusion 2.0, which not only bundles backup and disaster recovery, but also now we are adding in the cybersecurity aspect of allowing customers to have unlimited vulnerability scannings within their environment. Well, look, um, we mentioned there's a few different businesses here. What's the best way for people to find out more? Well, <coughs> basically, they can just get in touch with us on LinkedIn. Um, we have both the AVM and IGS Cloud websites. Yeah. Um, alternatively, they can just hit me up on LinkedIn or just connect. Well, we'll have those links in the show notes. Well, Hafiz Murti, our head of product here with IGS, uh, AVM and a time company. Yes. We'll definitely have some more information uh, in our show notes. But thank you very much for joining us thank on you so MySecurity TV. Uh, and enjoy the rest of Cybersecurity Asia. You too. Have a great day.